Hello everyone, this is Helena from Helena Artbook. This video is a time lapse of a personal painting which reminds me of a fairy tale as it is a narrative piece. You will see and I will tell you what it is about later in this video. As a fantasy and surreal artist, this painting inspired me to talk about my choice of creating mermaids, angels, aliens and other surreal and fantasy topics. People I knew said words like, oh, she's just away with her fairies, oh, she must be thinking about her fairies, and of course they said it with a sarcastic tone to state that I'm somewhere in the fantasy land, out of reality, not paying attention. <laughs> Growing up, I always used to be a dreamer, being in my own world, as many people like to say. So now, there comes my art, which is literally a creation of my world, of me being out there with the fairies. As I was thinking about it deeper and deeper, those fantasy and surreal characters are developed from reality. Yes, you heard it, from reality, the reality of my life and your life. So. For example, if we are talking about mermaids, I painted this character a few months ago who was a sleeping siren and I made up my own story about her. So my siren fell under a sleeping spell because she was luring lovers in and manipulating them with her irresistible serenades and beauty, as sirens do, they sing songs to capture sailors and kill them. Well, mine was not that brutal though. My sleeping siren was waiting for a brave knight or a sailor to rescue her from her slumber, but only a true love's kiss could do so. I kind of put elements of sleeping beauty there as well. So the story about my painting about my sleeping siren could be a life metaphor for some. I am sure some girls from real life resemble cold sirens manipulating men with just their sex appeal and looks, finding out that that is not everything to get true, satisfactory love. Or, for example, this painting you're watching a time-lapse of is about a girl with a locked heart, with birds symbolizing knights, which are holding keys and trying to unlock her heart. Well, how many girls didn't feel like they had closed hearts sometimes and were or are trying to find guys to open them? Some might say that fantasy art is some form of escapism, but to me, it is more about returning to reality. If you create this character that physically doesn't exist, it exists in your mental state though. It is the energy and essence of your emotions. You are giving life to your traumas, you are bringing the repressed sides of your psyche to the surface by creating a girl who has a locked heart to validate your incapability to find love. And you are doing it in the most beautiful way ever. Your fairy tale is not just a fairy tale. It is a story about your own journey in life. Art says more than words can. I believe there is a truth to every fairy tale. For example, you could be a Cinderella, an unappreciated person who is always in the shadows. You don't have to meet a prince and move to a castle, however, you still have a chance to find true love in your life or come out of your shadows and shine. You could be a sleeping beauty who is quite unapproachable and then you will find a brave person who will find a way to you. Or you could paint a person fighting a dragon and the giant beast could symbolize your internal raging battles. Fairies to me are about softness and innocence, which are topics I like to explore in my paintings a lot. Innocence is a rare quality in this world, so I enjoy seeing something so fragile and pure as a fairy. This is the whole reason why I love surreal and fantasy art, as you can paint your own emotions and give them life on the canvas. So, are you feeling sorry for this girl with a locked heart? Don't worry, because the story of this painting goes further. So the lady was slowly realizing that sadly none of those knights possessed the key to her heart and one day as she was enjoying herself in a sunny garden, there was this tinkling in her pocket. She reached out to find out what it was and 
Surprise! It was the key in her own pocket. This painting is more or less about self-love, as always trying to find someone who might possess the key to your core will most likely set you up for failure. It is your own heart after all, so why don't you look into your own pocket? Maybe it's going to be there, but only if you believe it. Before we wrap this up, I would like to share a poem I wrote about this piece. There once was a girl whose heart was locked. She often wondered whether it was made from rock. Once in a few years there was a knight possessing a key, hoping for once of all to set her heart free. Each one of the brave tried to mingle the lock. With the girl's despair it seemed to be blocked. One happy day to her pocket she reached. There was the key! All surprised she preached. That was the story about the girl with a locked heart. She never again needed any night, nor she let any of them dim out her light. So, we nearly reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed either the talk or the time lapse or both. If yes, please support me by pressing like or by subscribing to this channel as I will be posting more about my art here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram as I put the newest updates about my art there as well. If you are interested in purchasing this piece, it is available in my shop, link down below. Until next time, and please remember to look into your own pockets girls, even boys. Bye!